tired out for a Wembley final by one of the city's own, a Liverpudlian, for only the second time. It was Tommy Smith in 1971. It will be Steven Gerrard in 2012. Of course, for Cardiff City and the Bluebirds fans, this is familiar territory for so many. Their fourth visit to the 21st century Wembley. And they're now looking to complete the second triple crown of the weekend for Wales. They win over England in rugby's Six Nations. Nathan cleverly defended his WBO light heavyweight title last night. And now Cardiff City go for the hat-trick. All that, and it's St David's Day on Thursday, as well as being the Chinese Year of the Dragon. Those Liverpool players, well, they are, of course, red-hot favourites. But we said that a year ago. You can get the same sort of odds on a Liverpool victory as you could get on Arsenal 12 months ago. Birmingham City, the team in blue, upset those odds that day. Can Cardiff do the same? to the tension of the tunnel and out to a rapturous welcome It's an absolutely wonderful view. Wembley looks a picture. A really good showcase for English football right around the world. This game being screened in an estimated 151 countries worldwide. Zinedine Oglish back at Wembley as Liverpool manager. I suspect he thought that day would never come again. The 52nd League Cup final. The presentation party with Mark Hunter, the chief executive of the sponsors, Malls and Coors UK, Greg Clark, the chairman of the Football League, and Boo Armstrong, who's representing Help for Hospices, which is the Football League's official partner charity this season. Must mention the mascots as well, huge day for them. The Liverpool seven year old Luke Bayliss. The Cardiff nine-year-old Ellis Shepherd, and somebody's told me that it was his birthday on Friday. What a weekend. Captain Mark Hudson takes the dignitaries down the line of his Cardiff City players. The Cardiff team that's won only one of five games played since they played in the semi-final second leg of this Carling Cup. 3-1 against Peterborough in their last home game some 12 days ago. Proud day for Malky Mackay. Managers with birthdays just a fortnight apart. Cardiff boss was 40 last Sunday. Kenny Dalglish will be 61 in one week's time. There's a wonderful noise around the place. Cardiff delighted to be back. Liverpool supporters savouring their first taste, quite incredibly, of the all-new Wembley. between the two Glaswegians. Well, let's have a look at the Cardiff City lineup. a bold, attack-minded team named by Malky Mackay, with two genuine strikers and width to supply them from Don Cowie and Joe Mason. Goals come from midfield too. Peter Whittingham is joint top scorer with Kenny Miller on 10. At the back, Captain Mark Hudson pass fit for his first game in over a month. Anthony Gerrard drops out. Gerrard's cousin Stephen, of course, plays for and captains Liverpool 
in a team which has surprised those who expected Craig Bellamy to play. Instead, it's Stuart Downing and Jordan Henderson either side of the skipper. Gerard Suarez and Carroll starting together for just the second time for Liverpool and for the second game in a row. With them in the team last week against Brighton, they scored six. Alongside me, of course, to enjoy the atmosphere and hopefully enjoy the game as well. Is somebody well versed to winning League Cups with Liverpool? Mark long Lawrence, and it's all coming back ago. to you, isn't it? No, it's not. I've completely forgotten it was in black and white as well. I think, I think you just said that uh, you know Cardiff had picked an attacking team, and I think Alki Mackay has decided that that is the best way to play against Liverpool to go out there and take them on. And from Liverpool's point of view, I'm a bit like you with, with uh, no Bellamy. I just, I just wonder if. The view is that you know maybe half an hour left if it was still level terms you throw Bellamy on and he might he might be the game changer. Well he has been struggling with a back problem, his training has been limited, he's had to have painkilling injections as well. And maybe that's the reason why Craig Bellamy is only a substitute today. Rough luck on Steven Gerrard's cousin Anthony as well. He's been playing for Cardiff in the absence of their skipper Anthony Hudson. Or rather Mark Hudson, I beg your pardon. But uh, he was left out for the playoff final the last time Cardiff were here two years ago, and again he has to sit on the bench and watch at the start. I can assure you, guy, it's, it's not something you want to get used to. It's been a while since Hudson's played as well, isn't it? Hasn't played since, well, the middle part of January. Yeah. A bit of a gamble made by Malky Mackay. Mark Clattenburg is our referee today. Simon Beck, Mick McDonough, they'll assist him with the flags. Anthony Taylor is the fourth official. Feels big. Feels like a big-time cup final. I walked up Wembley Way at 11 o'clock this morning, and I've never seen that many people that long before kickoff time at this place. Five hours before kickoff, the place was packed. Liverpool set fair in formation. Cardiff in the huddle. And great noise coming from right around this wonderful stadium. And away we go for the 2012 Carling Cup final. It's championship against Premier League.
McNaughton might so just put some loft on the cross. Stuart Downing was here two years ago as an Aston Villa player, part of the team that lost to Manchester United. Big stage for him. Big game for him. Not really truly delivered as a Liverpool player yet. He has. The captain. Now taking the corner. He can stay back. And the ball is over his crossbar again for another corner. And I think Adam and Carroll are both in there, aren't they? So Adam will take this one. Liverpool have started brightly. And a record 11th League Cup final. It's good. They can do Tom Heaton's gloves. Think, isn't it, that Tom Heaton is Cardiff's cup keeper, very much second choice in the league all season, but he was the penalties hero in the semi-final against Crystal Palace. He looks like he's got orange marigolds in. Modern day goalkeeper does not. Okay, Dad. Very well passed for Mason. Close the door successfully, one Liverpool to throw it. Oh, Dix McNaughton. Which of them is there to find Mace? There's Gunnison. Quite close enough to Miller. Skirtle up and away. Had some wary of Suarez's presence. Here's Tony. Yeah, I just, I'm just looking at uh, all Kenny Miller's in relation to this there. There's one thing, certainly, when Liverpool have the ball, Kenny Miller's dropping back into midfield, he's not quite sure who to pick up. Scott. Suarez, caught late, dumped to the turf by Turner. of Coventry City. He was in the Coventry team that won 2 0 at Manchester United in the Carling Cup more than a bit years ago now. Downing opened up with the shot. I think he was dragging it wide anyway, we'll never know. Hudson in tight to block. Miller, there he is, tracking back, working hard. It's blocked by Henderson. To prevent Andrew Taylor from clearing the former Middlesbrough fullback. Henderson starting, Craig Bellamy sitting. And Jamie Carragher too, the pair of them will be itching to get on. Craig Bellamy smiling. And we saw that little argument he was having pre-match. It was with a Football League official who was telling him to get off the pitch. <laughs> Warm-ups were over. Surely not. Craig's weren't. He had another couple of pot shots to take. Surely not. Michael McKay, a former playing teammate of Craig Bellamy at Norwich City. Tells the story in the matchday programme of how they once locked him in the toilet on the team coach just to keep him quiet for three hours. McNaughton. He's Whittingham. And Taylor. Don Cowie's on the move into the left edge of the penalty area. Lovely flick for Miller. Miller just leant back as he struck. That was great movement and nice bit of work from Cowie in particular. Yeah, it's great ball in as well. I'm not sure whether it was, man. It was a super ball in there and a flick round the corner. And Miller knows he should at least make the goalkeeper work. Members of the strong Scottish connection that Malcolm Mackay has got around him in Cardiff. Don Cowie and Kenny Miller, internationals both. Scotland B, isn't it? Anthony Gerrard said. And those two will be in the Scotland squad for international action next week. Stephen Gerrard will hope, hope to be back here, perhaps leading England. That question answered yet. Alexander, I think. Here's Suarez, finding room again. 
Hudson in the way of the shot. He's turned by Gunnarsson, couldn't quite get himself free of the attentions of Charlie Adam, but he has got a free kick. Yeah, just be a little bit worried with Cardiff, with the, the space that Suarez is finding. Just Jarrow's just sort of helping balls around the corner, and Suarez is coming off people. Suarez has scored in his last two games, two starts, two goals since he came back from his infamous ban. Shook over his hand today. It's good. There's Enrique. Carroll. A little touchdown for Gerard. Henderson's on his way. Gerard. And Johnson has moved forward again. Gerard's cross. Norton has to turn it behind. And Stuart Downing laying in wait behind him. Yeah, balling from Gerard as you'd expect. Kind of his quality, but really good header by McNaughton. Downing's just been told to hang on until Agar and Skirtle have made their way into the penalty area. And on he does. Good delivery again. And Carroll pushed his man out of the way before the ball had threatened to arrive at his forehead yet again doesn't need to do it does he well obviously feels that he does doesn't he rocket science this is not pushing you don't get free kick given against you half a dozen goals for the season a couple of goals against Cardiff in just one previous appearance against them scored two in a 5-1 Newcastle United win and they're one season away from the top flight Enrique caught out by the lively young Joe Mason. There's the lively, not so young Kenny Dalglish. And four League Cups as a Liverpool player. 1981 to 1984 inclusive. Mark's going to misty eyed. Gerard. He scored the last time Liverpool won this competition against Manchester United 2003. In fact, he scored in the club's last four major final wins. Won the UEFA Cup, a League Cup, Champions League in 2005, and the FA Cup 2006 when he scored twice against West Ham. I think you remember those goals. Here's Downing. Cinema was overstretching. Instead, moves across him, and it will be a Liverpool throw. Now it's Gerard. Suarez again allowed to turn. And just behind Gerard, now Don Carey to get it clear, and only as far as Adam. Sees Carroll. Carroll this time no need to push his opponent, but he heads the ball wide. Now, ball in by Adam, certainly. Only Cardiff guy, he just, just stood off Liverpool a little bit. Look, look at all the room. It's Adam this time on the ball. Everyone across the midfield generally has had lots of time and space in a red Liverpool shirt. Yeah, he's jumped. In front of and above Mark Hudson. Norton. 
Gerrard. Wasn't a great ball. Whittingham was in quickly for Cardiff, but couldn't really win it properly for them. Room on the right again for Glenn Johnson. Playing almost as a winger in this game so far. Not quite get up through the gears quickly enough to keep that in, though. Well, even Glenn Johnson, the whip it that he is, can't get me on the back. time that this final has featured a club from outside the top division of English football since 2001. Liverpool win that one as well, beating Birmingham City, but they needed penalties to do it. Miller yeah, gets around Suarez to pump one up towards Miller. Miller to try and beat Scorpio or Agger in the end. Jose Enrique. Enrique's that wide, he's virtually off the pitch, but he was ignored by Adam. Miller. And takes it away from Mason. Jose Enrique. Drifting in field to take up possession and drive forward. He thought about it. Anderson to Suarez. Johnson to Suarez. And up will go Carroll. And Heaton rather casually makes the save. I wonder if it was sneaking in. Yeah, I mean, just a bit. Again, another period there where Liverpool, you know, midfield, no, no pressure from Cardiff on the man or on the ball. Mount a little bit of pressure of their own. Here's Kenny Miller. He's had one shot towards goal. Mason. Not the best return to Miller, but he's done well with it. That's a worse return. McNaughton. Nichols headed it back to him. Miller. He's got it through. It's Mason! Cardiff City lead! Joe Mason! What a cool, cool finish! And it's the blue flags that are flying at Wembley. It's a great little ball into him as well. He had so much time and space. It's not a great header, is it, from Skirtle? It's straight back to McNaughton. And then it was a lovely little ball there, bang. Probably went through the legs of Rain, I would have thought. It's the 20-year-old's eighth goal of the season. The man who scored the only goal of the fourth-round tie against Burnley. Signed from Plymouth Argyle. He's the talk of all Cardiff right now. Didn't he take it well? Excellently, excellently. Enrique needs to be closer to him, obviously, but... Great ball from Kenny Miller. And the Carling Cup final is a light, well and truly. Against the run of play. What can Suarez do? No reply yet. The Liverpool have bossed the ball, they've been finding a way through, but then Malky Mackay's team have broken and shown real confidence when moving forward. Look at the manager, he can hardly get his breath. And he's seething. Yeah, we've seen that look before. few echoes of last year in this final. Most of the noise, nearly all that day, came from Birmingham's fans. Well, they're being rivaled here by Cardiff's. And again, it's the red end of the ground that's silent, arms folded. Wondering how that happened. Agatha Reina. And for the neutrals, I guess it's just what the final needed. Just the simplicity of the passing for the goal, wasn't it? It was outstanding. It was Gunnison. Mason. Down it. And 
as Enrique finds Luis Suarez. Let the ball come across him beautifully. And then ran into a, a blue wall. Yeah, it's good defending, actually, just to make Suarez actually beat him. There's Enrique. Is he to blame for that Cardiff goal? Certainly partly culpable. Oh, yeah. Johnson. Gerard. There's Agger. And Agger likes to shoot when he gets the chance. Cardiff very nearly gave him the chance. Against the run of play. Oh, just a bit. Liverpool have had two thirds of the ball. Doesn't matter. Absolutely not. Downing. That's the cross away. Pass McNaughton. Liverpool's throw. Suarez. Managed to wriggle away from Gunnarsson, McNaughton back at him, goal yeah. kick is the court. Yeah, Suarez last touch, let off his left foot, I think. He's great at just wriggling away from people in the penalty area, mind. Rather desperate attempt from Gunnarsson. McNaughton stayed on his feet well. And it was the right court. And the ref and from Laura. Great position, the referee. No signs of panic yet, just glowering. Skirtle. Any blame attached to him for that header out straight to McNaughton? Well, yeah, because he, he, he basically had he had lots of time, guy, to head it where he really wanted, and the last place he wanted to was straight back to the guy who just already knocked it in. It was going to have another go, wasn't it? Flag up here against Gusted, coming back from being offside. Stead's only started four league games for Cardiff all season. The 23-year-old Frenchman signed from Metz. There's Carroll onto Suarez, nearly got it into Downing. And then Carroll went for the spectacular when there was something a lot safer on in the ball in field to Downing. It never came. No. I'd like to say he's getting a little bit nearer with his efforts, but I would be lying. Let's take another look at the goal that got Cardiff jumping. Well, we've talked about that, you know, Liverpool, there's no real pressure from Cardiff on Liverpool's midfield players. Well, Kenny Miller there, I, you can see from the, the foot, he just had time to control it, have a little look, and just rolled it in. Simple. Well, eyebrows were raised when we saw the team sheet and realised that Miller was going to play just off Gusted. For so much of this season, he has been up front on his own. And he's played well in that hole. Yeah. Goal maker. For Agger. Between himself and Reyna, they've sorted it out. And here's Jose Enrique. Stuart Downing. Having a run at McNaughton. Not totally past him, but a lovely bit of improvisation to find Jose Enrique again. Suarez. Carroll's peeled away. Couldn't get it into Gerard. It's Johnson instead. He can't get it into Gerard either. Let it go. Oh, a bit of confusion as to which way it was. The whistle's gone anyway. Yeah, free free kick. Kick. Yeah. Looks lovely when it works. Big game this for Stuart Downing. Big week for him with uh, the England game coming up as well. Guy, I'd, I'd put Andy Carroll in there, same category. Henderson as well would be another one for me. Money Liverpool buys. Well, the jury's out on all three, yeah. Well, well, stick. The North East connection. One for each. 
for here. Taylor for Cardiff. Good friends with Downing. Here's Mason again. Inside the area, not far away from getting a connection. Oh, nobody picking him up either. As far as again, the wriggler. McNaughton finds Miller. Mason. Freedom of Wembley once more. Pass Johnson with the trick. Cowan. Whittingham. Whittingham's driven in, it's blocked by Skirtle. Oh, just loses the race, but all Gunnison can do with it, and he's put it out of play. I think certainly the key for Cardiff is Mason, huh? Oh, he seems to be able to get free. I wasn't going to say free Mason, but you know what I mean. You were always going to say it. Hudson. Gerard. Anderson. There's Adam. Suarez. With Charlie Adam. That's when we play wanted it wide. The other way. It's going to this way. And goes to Stead with Agger. A little tug on Daniel Agger's shirt with a pull free kick. teasing him and it's a good ball in just nobody there to receive it great ball in great ball in there's only Andy Carroll within about five yards of it it's one of, one of the problems with Liverpool this year it's also at home has been the lack of midfield players actually bursting into the box which I think is a, a reason why they've drawn so many games at home and maybe the, the ones that have better turned the goal hanger the pass will be fouler in the lift on the way up still at Cambry for it Suarez. Yeah, nearly came off that. I'm not sure though whether Andy Carroll is actually ready for that first time ball from Suarez. Great ball from Darwin, that was. Scott uses his muscle against Gusted. Cardiff throw. There's a lot of Cardiff noise around Wembley. Seven flow to the game as well, isn't it? Oh, it's open. Johnson. He's done his best to keep it in, but couldn't manage it. This is arguably cross of the day, best bit of wing play of the day. Yeah. Just one Liverpool player in the penalty area as the ball arrived. They seem to just cut onto it a little bit low. Now then, Aaron Gunnison is Cardiff's answer to Rory Delap. Watch this go. Really good throw in, and Carroll had to be back to defend it. And again. Suarez, Downing. Henderson's charging through, he's furthest forward. Jose Enrique, Cardiff do have some numbers back now. Enrique on the right foot. Oh, you never know. I didn't expect a great deal better than that, but actually, I think you did because it was just like almost a nervous stutter just before he hits it. You're kind of thinking, mm. you'll see it now. Look, it comes in, it's like, mm. yeah, maybe it's a delayed thought, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. I can't really kick it with me right, but I'll have a go. The man who's just got the one goal in English football, it came for Newcastle against Nottingham Forest nearly two years ago now. He has been a good signing. Skirtle. He's down. Not the chance to get up ahead of steam there. Liverpool is still finding so much room on the ball. And Tom. Johnson. Henderson. It's working the so far. Suarez. 
In went Miller. Suarez has got it back. Is that hand ball? There's a big shout. Was. Cleared by Taylor. I think I think the ball took someone's hand. I'm not sure who, but it was hit so quick. And I, and I don't think the hand actually moved. The ball just hit the hand. we will see it in a minute. And that happens a lot, but you do tend to have an automatic reaction of shouting. Back to Adam. Sets himself. Oh, so close. That must have shaved the post. I think Heaton thinks this is in. Right. He just watched his dive in a sec. Let's Here's see if there was one. a shout here. Not for you. No. Where are you supposed to put your hand? No trip. Yeah. His hand didn't get near this. No. Oh, yeah, he's... Mm. Stretching's begun. Yeah, you'll be doing it right in front of the manager. You watch. And now he scored 11 goals for Cardiff City last season whilst on loan from Manchester City. Fulfilled a boyhood dream by playing for his team. Only come on at some point today to hurt them. Well, he's been excellent for Liverpool this year. Every time he's played, he's made things happen. Bellamy, Bellamy the man who got Liverpool to this Wembley final. Second goal in the semi final, second leg against Manchester City. Oh, he harassed the life of uh, out of Man City that night. Three centre defenders first half, two in the second. Blocked by Hudson. He's done a lot of blocking on his return to action. Instead, did well. Carries away, but he won't keep it in. The referee, now they've got a free kick, Cardiff. Let's just have one more look at the, the Liverpool appeal here. His left arm's outstretched, is it? But it actually brushes his side anyway. Yeah, no, it's, it's not a penalty. If that's a penalty, we might as well go over and about it. Well, so far, so very good for Mark Clattenburg. That's good. I think he talks to players as well, doesn't he? I think players appreciate that. His head has been a real nuisance. In a good way for Cardiff, of course. That's Jose Enrique. Through the gap, McNaughton and Mason. Gerrard. Henderson with Johnson in support. Jose Enrique is up there as an extra man. McNaughton's head a clear. Adam. Step off the thigh, I think, of Hudson. And safety first is the action of Aaron Gunnison. A little bit fortunate to get a corner like that. He's a poor ball in. From Adam. Stephen Gerrard corner. Here's the cue. Skirtle, Carol Agger. Hudson, Turner, and Gunnison are the players who've been detailed. Who gets who? Gerrard in. Heaton's out to punch away. Got through the crowd. Oh, very good pitch. Downing, watch for the shift. And then the chip. Skirtle, it's brave defending. And it's a free kick for Cardiff. Yeah. Throwing your body in the way. Really throwing his head in, I think. And it's the man who got the goal, Joe Mason. He put his head in where it might just hurt. That's good stuff from Heaton. It was. So that Skirtle goes in with boot raised. Oh, boot raised or head low. Six or one half, a dozen of the other. Well done, Joe Mason, in every sense today. Skirtle. Whittingham, goes to a trick. Didn't intend to put it there. Good thing, was it? It's at 115 yards from his own goal. Gerard. 
too heavy from Suarez. Yeah, I didn't need to hit it first time. I think that's the key. He's had a couple already. A little bit more time than he thinks. Whittingham. Miller loses out to Skirtle. As well as Mink looks back. Something about this competition in the finals, thinking of last year. Never quite seems to go totally as planned for the favourites. Roy Dalglish has never won this cup as a manager. Runner-up in 1987. Now there's the overall big boss. John W. Henry is here. That is the one on the left, isn't it? <laughs> John W. definitely on the left. This is Henry's got some brand spanking new red gloves on. I wonder what you're going to say. Here's Johnson. Downing. Carroll. Carroll nearly in. Brilliant piece of defending, that is. Brilliant. It's Gerard. Just a little too much on that, and Heaton is out together. for a tackle. Excellent. Well, with all due respect to Anthony Gerrard, you can see why Mark Hudson's got an instant recall after yeah. his calf yeah. injury. Yeah, a bit of a ball magnet as well, isn't he? In there. He's got in the way of absolutely everything. Miller. He's so full of energy. Six games without a goal now, Kenny Miller, but he's got one huge assist to his name today. Yeah, it was Mason as well who made the run across Enrique yet again. Down it. It's a big seven minutes as well, this for, uh, for Cardiff. Actually, they don't concede one before half time. Down it. And Norton doesn't know where he is. Great ball in, it's missed by Henderson. And it's well wide from Gerard. Biggest Liverpool chance of the game yet. How did Jordan Henderson miss it? Well, he was absolutely nowhere near it. And great play as well by uh, Downing. Norton's got twisted blood at the moment, he's every single way. and He has to have just closed his eyes to miss that. Not got even a fraction of anything on it. Right. That's Some probably the hardest thing to do was actually uh, completely miss it than, than kick it in a direction. Well, the owner owns the Boston Red Sox, doesn't it? It's a baseball term, swing and a miss. Now, Jose Enrique. Kenny Miller thinks he should have a, a free kick for that, and Mark Clattenburg wants to have a word with yeah. Liverpool's he's, Spanish fullback. I'm sure he's got a free kick, has he not? As he should have. It's all right, yeah. Whittingham. That's a very sweet left foot. Yeah, he came out and gained a few yards as well, hasn't he? Don't carry runs away. Whittingham to swing it over and Pepe ready to catch it quite comfortably. Adam confronted by Gunnison, but he's passed him. Here's Suarez, and he's brought down, is he, by McNaughton, just the throw-in. Suarez disagrees with that call. Well, it's a rather theatrical dive as well. He's got to get this right, McNaughton. See by the direction of the ball, he got enough of it. Gerard Henderson. And he's still on that miss. Here's Enrique. Suarez on the move, managed to get away from Hudson. Blocked by McNaughton. It's a superb effort by Cardiff defensively so far. Yeah. And now a foul has been given by Gis from Gisted on Skirtle, which has got Cardiff blood boiling. And Reyna too getting involved, <laughs> needlessly. 
Well timed tackle. That was absolutely spot on from Don Cowick. Gerard downing in field. Got it through to Suarez. And it's Cardiff to try to break. Ball running for Rudy Gestet. Covered some ground. Gerard, Downing once more, Captain ordered him out of the way, Suarez, twist and turn and shot, and save. Yeah, he's great, one of the best in the league certainly for that, get yourself a little half yard. He's hitting that side of his right, isn't he? Three goals in three games in this competition for Suarez. Andrew Taylor just slowing it all down. Two and a half minutes until 45 has been played. Suarez has been involved in the ball right from the start. Scored at Exeter in the second round. Two at Stoke in the fourth when he was quite magnificent all night. That's a free kick. Charlie Adam bundled over. Maybe one last big chance before the break for Liverpool. Yeah, just to see if Skirt and Aga come up. They are, they're coming now. But for a moment, they're staying back, the 1 0 down. Took the time. Stephen Gerrard, not surprisingly, is demanding that he takes charge of the free kick. And it comes from Gerrard! Blocked by Heaton. Oh, how on earth was that missed? Straight at the keeper. Daniel so, Agger's frustrations yeah. clear to see. Some unbelievable chances. Either either side of the goalkeeper. Pretty so, softly at it. Yeah, too. Such, such a good chance. Great ball in. Poor action defensively from Cardiff. What a chance that is. Is that one of those moments in a cup final that just makes you think? Well, yeah. Johnson off the crossbar. Penalty shootout hero of Cardiff's semi final second leg win against Crystal Palace. Suarez to Downing. Gerard. Shot smothered. He's got another chance, but he's off balance. He's fallen. Yeah, and the ball has gone way behind. And there was good, there's good pressure actually when the ball comes back to him. There's really good pressure from Cardiff, which in the end I think makes him snatch at it a little. And there's a block, great block. And then just as he gets it out of his feet, they're in. Look, they're all waiting to get there, two of them. It's a good game, this. It's a very good game. He might disagree with you, Kenny Dalglish. He'll have his words ready. Goalkeeper has been man of the match in the League Cup final in two of the last three seasons, both times Ben Foster. It's Manchester United, once for Birmingham. Just the one minute to be added on to the end of the first half. In actual fact, Heaton hasn't made many saves, has he? But no. I'm sure he'll have to make a few more before the day is done. Here's Miller. Pointing the way, telling Gestead where to go. Whittingham. Here's Mason, the goal scorer. And Gestead is just leave it out of the way by Skirtle. Or should. 20 seconds. And then the referee's discretion left of the first half. There's Enrique. I think that'll about do it for the first half. Yeah, it's a ball from Henderson. You don't need to just keep it. I'm on the risk of smashing a 40-yard crossfield pass. 
bed at half time. Craig Bellamy's chuddering away in there, by the way. It'll be one. <coughs> Remember me? I don't think anybody's forgotten him. And Cardiff fans won't forget this first half of football in a hurry. The odds are being upset again in the Carling Cup final. Joe Mason in the 19th minute for Cardiff City with a wonderful finish. Tom Heaton managed to keep out a Daniel Agaheda that was straight at him towards the end of the first half. And on this wonderful weekend for Welsh sport, the Dragon is flying high again. At half-time in the 2012 Carling Cup final, we have an upset on the cards. It's Cardiff City 1, Liverpool 0. And away we go for the 2012 Carling Cup final. It's Championship against Premier League, Wales against England, Cardiff City against Liverpool. Cardiff playing on this pitch for the fourth time in very recent seasons. For Liverpool, it's their first visit to Wembley since 1996. And strange that all their recent Cup success, I say recent, it's, it's a while since they won anything but it has taken place in Cardiff domestically. Jose Enrique. Left Newcastle to join Liverpool to win trophies. Well, here you go. First chance. And the first throw in goes to the Bluebirds. Kevin McNaughton, the Silver Fox in his sixth season at Cardiff City, and he's a veteran of three games at Wembley for them. One win, FA Cup semi-final 2008, two defeats. Up towards Kenny Miller, Rudy Gestead was making a nuisance of himself as well. Jordan Henderson's lost it. Andrew Taylor. Whittingham. Now Gunnarsson, just got himself away from Suarez. Now Gerrard to lead the... Liverpool charge, and there are men over on the left-hand side. Stuart Downing, one of them. Glenn Johnson, another, and he's gone for the top corner. Rattles the woodwork. Gerrard! What an effort from Johnson. So, so close. Yeah, it was measured, wasn't it? A great break by Liverpool as well. Gerrard travelling some 56 yards with the odds with the ball as well. And great technique, certainly, from Johnson. I mean, Malcolm can't be worried about the fact that, that Cardiff really were, I think it was four against three at one stage. It's really unlucky, I think it's the back of the goalkeepers, I don't know, they just missed them, didn't it? Gerard blazed high and wide. That's a terrific shot from Glenn Johnson. Yeah, probably just as well it didn't hit the goalkeeper, it gone in off the crossbar. And doesn't that bode well for an open final? Cardiff wide open. I think that's why the manager's on the touchline as we speak. Trying to sort it out. Kenny Dalglish has taken to the technical area as well. I should think they'll spend most of the match there. You're a long, long way from the pitch if you sit in your allocated seat as a manager at Wembley. Yep. Hudson looks for Gestead. And Dagger, either by accident or design, lets it run through to Pepe Reina. Martin Skirtle. The fields of Anfield Road is being belted out. Jose Enrique. Andy Carroll. I think would have been offside, but no yeah. matter, the ball has gone out anyway. They went very, very early, didn't they? I think at the moment as well with, with Cardiff, they're not really trying to pressure Liverpool on the ball and, and letting them play a little bit. This is just a great angle to see this. And Tom Heaton was grasping thin air. Tom Johnson's only goal of the season was the Premier League winner at Chelsea in November when he scored with his left foot. Could have won the ball with his right again here. An FA Cup winner against Cardiff in 2008 when a Portsmouth player. 
winner in this competition against Liverpool, won a Chelsea player in 2005. Suarez just beaten to it by Hudson. To stretch those calves that have been a problem for the last six games. Well and truly. Ben Turner. Straight out, Liverpool's ball. Turn quickly from Suarez. Managed to keep it despite Kenny Miller's best efforts. A little rash second time round Miller. Advantage played. And Henderson clips it into Carroll. It's over the top. There was a push from Carroll. It's a free kick for Cardiff rather than a goal kick. But a good advantage played by Mark Clattenburg earlier yeah, on. No, excellent as well. And undoubtedly there's a push by Carroll. What are your feelings on Andy Carroll at the moment, Mark? Is he, as he says in his own words, just, just getting it now as a Liverpool player? Well, I, th I think he's getting there slowly. It, it is somewhat of a, a slow journey for him, but he's, he's definitely improved over the last few, few weeks. I think the games, as much as anything, Guy, has, has got him back now to sort of match fitness, and he, he looks a little bit sharper, but it's still not the, the awesome Andy Carroll that played for Newcastle that used to frighten everybody, especially if you played against him. Can certainly help him having Suarez and Gerrard as regular teammates now. Yeah, absolutely. That was only the other week they started the first game they started together. Last weekend, 6-1 against weekend. Brighton in the FA Cup. Carroll got one, Suarez got one. Brighton got three for Liverpool. Downing. Taking on McNaughton, who doesn't know which way he's going. And Hudson has to turn it behind. He did the hard bit actually getting past McNaughton, huh? He just put some loft on the cross. Stuart Downing was here two years ago as an Aston Villa player, part of the team that lost to Manchester United. Big stage for him. Big game for him. Not really truly delivered as a Liverpool player yet. He has. The captain now taking the corner. Heaton stayed back. And the ball is over his crossbar again for another corner. I think Agger and Carroll are both in there, aren't they? Charlie Adam will take this one. This is number three, one, two, three, four, five.
Thank you, Gary. Yeah, Liverpool's players just been made to wait by their Cardiff opponents for a little while. They have, of course, waited so long to win a major trophy again. And at the moment, they're going to have to work really hard in this second half to turn this around and win one today, because it's Cardiff to lose at the moment because of that young man, Joe Mason. Lost just £250,000 or there or thereabouts from his hometown club, Plymouth, last summer. Well, he's well and truly repaid the transfer fee today so far. Deafening music played around Wembley during the half-time break. You can't believe anyone wants to listen you can, to this. Yeah, you can take those little orange buds out of your ears now, Mark. Thank you. Sorry? Pardon? Off we go. Cardiff City 1, Liverpool 0. And if that's ringing in our ears, I'm sure the words of Kenny Dalglish are ringing in the ears of those Liverpool players. No changes just yet, though. Although, as Mark Lawrenson pointed out, and as the boys in the studio pointed out, I'm sure Craig Bellamy will be introduced at some point soon if the scoreline doesn't change. Daniel Agger trying to put the pressure on. Does so enough for Liverpool to have the ball with Martin Skirtle. Adam. Hooked out by Hudson. What a game the card of captain is having. Actually scored on his last appearance, 21st of January, a 3-2 win against Portsmouth. Job today has been very much keeping Liverpool out. And they won't get through this time because they're being brought back for a free kick when Liverpool insist that the advantage should have been played, and I think with good reason. Absolutely. Enrique's got himself into the penalty area. I think that's the first plot on Mark Clattenburg's copybook today. And, unless he had blown a bit early and we, we didn't hear it. No. There are words being exchanged between Liverpool manager and officials in the technical area. Here's Henderson. And that's uh, very nearly hit the corner flag. That was a shot. Not going for that young man just at the moment. No, no, it's not. He's to make connection with it this time. Steve Clark has joined Kenny Dalglish on the edge of that technical area. What will he have said at half-time, Mark? You know him well enough. Um, just to keep playing, like keep keep the ball moving, keep playing. I just think, I do think you've got to get one or two people a little bit further forward for Liverpool. Just, I don't think we get enough players in the opposition penalty area. A few adjectives thrown in there. Oh, there'll be loads of those. And here's Mason. And Charlie Adam looks on in disbelief to find that Cardiff have got a free kick for that tackle. City 22 times the Welsh Cup winners, just one FA Cup win in 1927. Movement on the touchline for yeah, Liverpool. A certain C Bellamy and De Kout warming up too. Cardiff are putting the pressure on with Miller. Agger in his way. That's Gunnison. Agger's in the way again. Good leap from Miller. Miller had a swipe. Third time lucky. Agger this time does clear to halfway. McNaughton. Whittingham. It's come for Cowie. There's the back heel for Miller. Pulled at it wide. And again, it's a lovely bit of approach play from Cardiff. And Cowie and Miller instrumental again. Excellent, isn't it? And there's Whittingham on the ball, slides it. But this is the ball here, isn't it? There. Just all opened up. Seen two of those from Don Cowie now. I think he can lay claim to be the greatest ever footballer to come from the Highlands. have not been too many. Ross Jack, who's another. You need to get out more. <laughs> I do like my books. Here's Johnson. <laughs> Suarez manages to get in front of Gunnison and help it on beautifully to Gerrard. Taylor sees him off. Hacker. 
Pepe Reina was backpedalling furiously into his own penalty area, anticipating a back pass that never came. Jose Enrique. Henderson. Up goes Carroll, just behind Suarez. Well, Suarez then takes it away from Hudson. Heaton gets a paw to it, and Turner clears. I mean, it's a good save, but the camera might not pick it up, but the, the reaction from Carroll is basically, there's hardly any reaction when Suarez gets clear, when he pinches the ball. He's a centre forward. Get, get yourself, look, he stood there. He's, just get yourself in the box. Look where he is, guy, on the edge of the 18 yard box. And the movement came after Heaton had flicked it away. He's a number nine, get yourself there and get a goal. Charlie Adam with the Liverpool free kick. Attacking their own supporters now in the second half. Swung in beautifully, headed in towards the middle and headed up and over sensibly and safely by Ben Turner. Yeah, good piece of defending. Eight behind the goal, they've got someone's down as well on the Cardiff boys at the far post, I think. Rudy Gestet is the player hurt. Charlie Adam corner now. Not quite a good delivery. Johnson. There's Enrique. Now Downing. Downing with the teasing cross. Agger is kept at bay by Turner. Another outstanding defensive header. Gerard. Laying siege to the Cardiff penalty area. Desperate for that equalising goal. Charlie Adam. And a try from distance. Huge deflection on that. Liverpool corner. He's claiming handball. Suarez is the only one. Let's have a look. Rivaldo handball. And there's Gerard. It's come to Henderson, didn't get it down and out of his feet to hit it. And then he has caught Mason a little late, I think. Get booked. It's going to be the first yellow card of the match, and Jordan Henderson's going to get it. And uh, with that, there's a glance down the touchline from Kenny Dalglish as well, I noticed, to the substitutes. Well, unfortunately, Jordan Henderson, he's had a poor day. It's getting worse. Steve Clark to our start. Did he touch it there? Well, it came, came up off his knee back. onto his arm, oh, so once oh. again, I, I go back to your comment, you've got arms where you're supposed to put them. Yeah. It's not knee and knee, obviously. Carroll. Bumped Whittingham off the ball. Has it again now, though. Cardiff throw. I think we are approaching that time when Liverpool do make a change. Kenny Douglas and Steve Clark have been... Uh, in discussion pretty much constantly from the start of this second half. Keep glancing down at Bellamy and Cow. Carroll. Taylor. Gunnarsson, showed too much of it to Adam. Miller. It's Cowie, sliding in with Skirtle, handball shouts this time from Cardiff supporters. Carroll, clattered from behind by Turner. <laughs> that is a foul. a little bit of afters between Cowie and Henderson as well. Henderson can't afford to get involved in anything like that. Concentrate on playing, he'll be better off. Johnson. There is Jordan Henderson. Now Skirtle. 
Aga gives it away cheaply. Whittingham. Cardiff not attacking with any great pace, but Mason's through the middle. Instead, he's got it back from Whittingham. And that is a pretty good tackle in the end from Aga, and it's off the corner flag for a Cardiff throw in. Still shaking his head at his own mistake in conceding possession like yeah, that. Give him the ball away. Well, there are three Liverpool players going through real serious warm up on the far side. Jeremy Carrick is one of them. He's trying to stop his bones creaking. It's going to be a long throw from Aaron Gunnison. It is long and high, and Rain is out to punch it away. Mason back in, and it's oh, looked as though it was going to bounce to Kenny Miller for a moment there. Yeah. Rain is out now to Henderson, Adam to the right, on the left it's Downing. Hudson, easy enough for Aka. Gerard, oh. offside, Suarez. It was a strange one, wasn't it? He punches it out. It's, it's the one that comes back in here. Oh, that we're not going to see. Oh, we're just going to look back at Luis Suarez's shout for handball. Came off his knee. Came off his knee onto his arm. Listen, <laughs> they got one against uh, the, the Vicar Richard one at, at Anfield, wasn't it? That was off. Charlie Adam shouted as well. Yeah, well, the Vicar Richard one wasn't that off his knee onto his arm. And what, what's he supposed to do? Well, they got one then, so why not ask? Seems to work. Here's Suarez. Carroll in the middle, Suarez going all by himself until just holding on a little too long, he allowed McNaughton back at him. Yet another outstanding tackle and in the penalty area as well. This time McNaughton. The timing of those tackles from the, from the uh, Cardiff players has been outstanding. Downing's going to take the corner. Andy Carroll's going to try and head it towards goal but can't. It's back out to Adam. Now Downing. Here's the chip, and it's headed up for Tom Heaton to come and catch. Daniel yeah. Agger up there again. Heaton's launched it. Sorry, that guy, they always seem to be stretching onto those balls, the Liverpool players. You can see top right there, Craig Bellamy stripped and ready. Mason. Pushed. Cheap free kick. Very cheap free kick. From Rike. Court possession. Lazy more than anything. Joe Mason is having a game for Cardiff. Well, I think it's the change we expected. Greg Bellamy is coming on. Jordan Henderson having been booked as well. Yeah, he's making way. Sorry, down in the corner on the right. Bellamy on the left. Which is the team that many of us thought would start for Liverpool today. And now it's happening. It's rarely you come on and you're cheered by both sets of supporters, isn't it? Yeah, well, Cardiff fans recognise him as one of their own. And the Shearer is cheering. <laughs> well, the fans might be cheering a little louder here. It's Whittingham. Here's Taylor. Got away from Downing to cross. Interesting battle down this side between the Borough boys. Direct competition now, Taylor and Downing. Another good tackle. Here's Whittingham. And here is Taylor. Faced by Johnson at first. Gunnison had to hurry, but got there before Carroll. Taylor. He's done well to keep it, little shimmy to divert Stuart Downing's attention. Whittingham. The step just got in front of Agger, but in making that move, wasn't in position to get the ball down. Yeah, I think, I think he was making the move to try and just knock it into the path of Miller, but couldn't get any end of it. Daniel Agger. Here's Gerard. Adam. Johnson. Three in the middle for Liverpool. Suarez, Bellamy, Carroll. 
Johnson looks for Suarez. And Liverpool get the corner. And Turner and Hudson have been great there, haven't they? Cardiff haven't had a corner, Liverpool have had eight now. Stuart Downing in swinger. And gently chipped towards the back edge. Carroll's there! Off the post from Suarez! Now it's in! Martin Skirtle with the equaliser! Liverpool level, and Anfield South has erupted. That's the first time in this game that Cardiff have failed to clear their lines. They've been so good. Talk about defensively, the decisiveness of the decisions in there. It's the first time. Suarez unlucky. Yeah. He only found the woodwork, but Skirtle reacted like a striker. Scored last week, did he not? Yeah, two in two for Martin Skirtle. Four goals for the season, all told. Oh, and at the other end, Cardiff breaking forward. Have a little ask of the referee. Just having another look back here at Skirtle's equalising goal. Yeah, another goal through the legs of a goalkeeper. How many do you see? Rudy Gestead. As Malky Mackay absolutely furious on the touchline, oh. he's still frustrated at seeing Liverpool equalise. This was it. This is it, and I mean... It's Glenn Johnson. It's certainly not a penalty, I don't think... No. It's barely a free kick. No. Mark Clattenburg had a perfect view, better one than Mackay had. Gerard. We've got a different cup final now. Johnson. You can see from Skirtle's reaction, there's no thought of celebration. Liverpool are just where they at least expect to be now, that's all. Yeah. We've got a half hour cup final now, haven't we? There's no extra time. Cardiff City won, Liverpool won. And it's the noisiest that end has been all day. I wonder what uh, Mark Mackay's thinking about doing, maybe in terms of trying to change his team to change the game a little bit. Well, he got everything right from the start, the way he set up his team. Just calling for a bit of calm from his players now. Andy Dalglish wants anything but calm from his. He wants the whirlwind to whip up now. Feed off the crowd. That's Don Cowie's ball in. Easy enough for Reyna. You see a little bit of spirit leave some of the Cardiff players when that goal went in. And it's Bellamy. Downing couldn't keep it. Tall ball from Bellamy. Cowie. And went down it. Taylor. Skirtle. Neatly back to Rayner. I was going to say an unlikely Liverpool hero in terms of scoring goals, but as you rightly pointed out, Mark, it's two goals in two weekends. Yeah, he had a really good season, Skirtle as well. Plagued by injury in his early Liverpool days, didn't get going for the first two seasons, but it's an automatic pick now, has been all of this season, all of last. And his partner as well, I guess another one plagued by injury, isn't he? Yeah. Now Jamie Carragher can't get in the team because of the form of the pair of them. Adam. Kenny, Kenny's going, Maggie, see me, but we're not picking up, so just pass the ball. McNaughton. Whittaker. Goodison to Taylor. Cowie up in front ahead of him. That's going nowhere. Now, Cardiff needs to go through a spell of just keep the ball. Carroll on. Suarez must be offside. <laughs> Absolute miles. Not quite playing off the shoulder. No. It's Heaton's long ball for Gestead. He did well to get that one back and down and anywhere near Kenny Miller. 
Hard to come again. Cowie. Taylor's up there with him. Mason's on the move in the box again, but it's been ignored for now. He's got the ball now. It's Mason. Got it through the legs. Not enough sting in the shot to really test Rayner. On go Liverpool. The end to end feel of this 2012 Carling Cup final continues. It's been a good watch right from the start. Two teams fully committed to attacking. Downing. Bellamy. Here's Johnson. Downing. Here's Agger. Just let the ball run away, but he actually did pretty well to keep Liverpool on it. Here's Suarez. Suarez has wriggled through one. Nearly pulled it all the way through for Downing. Johnson. Oh, Miller's just in his hamstring as well, I think. Johnson pokes through. Bellamy's onto it, and he claims that Heaton has put that behind for the corner. And a corner is given. Yeah. Uh, Kenny Miller just pulled up there, guy, and he's jogging back now, but... Did get a touch on it, Heaton. Just wonder if it came back off Bellamy again before it crossed the line. The yeah, referee's assistant gave it. And... After some thought. Downing's clip in. The Stead's there to meet it. It's Jose Enrique. Carroll. Now Johnson. Johnson trying to slide it back through to Daniel Agger, who is still up there, and as a result, he's not back here. Jose Enrique was. Well, yeah. He read it. Not see for Liverpool. It's Whittingham. McNaughton in space down the right. There's Miller, who seems to have just uh, shrugged off that pull of the muscle. Yeah, you know, he, just, he just pulled up so quickly, look, this classic hamstring. There's McNaughton. Squirtle. And again. Got above Gestead and then away from Whittingham. Carroll. Draws the little kick from Turner. He did really well. This is Bellamy now. Bellamy to Carroll, downing the extra man over. Downing. You can see Andrew Taylor was fully expecting to shift that onto his left foot, well, he didn't. No, I was just looking at, at, at Carroll in the box, so you're kind of thinking, try it, run across your marker. Just a big period for Cardiff. Approaching the midway stage of the second half. Cardiff City 1, Liverpool 1. They just can't get the ball at the moment, uh, Cardiff. And, you know, consequently, they're chasing around for it. Well, there was a point in the first half when that was the case, and they scored. Well, I'd be hoping. He's through that. There's Downing. Liverpool look the team most likely at the moment. Downing wins a corner. And Taylor's just hurt himself in blocking that. He'll be all right. Have to make a change, Cardiff. Here. Have to. Over comes the corner. And it's headed back out towards Downing. Cowie there with him. Downing away with the ball. Stuart Downing. It's blocked by Whittingham. There's a double deflection and it's out for a goal kick. I think they're right. I think the referee's assistant makes another really good call for me. And he said, Oh, did he ask? Did it come off me? I didn't see anyone else round about there, did you? This will tell us, hopefully. No, no, it didn't tell us. <laughs> Still a goal kick. I think they got it right. Liverpool have maintained a remarkable scoring run in this competition. They've only failed to score now in one of their last 45 League Cup ties. But we all knew that they would score at some point today. Who scores next? So important. Yeah, I mean, as I said, the, the way that uh, Cardiff have defended been excellent. This was Joe Mason's best involvement of the second half so far. Got it through Skirtle. 
needed some sort of really heavy deflection on it to find a way through. And this was Skirtle finding a way through. McNaughton. Skirtle to Johnson. Downing. Not too much of Steven Gerrard second half. No, he's, he's playing quite deep, isn't he? Going to see something now. Wanted the return played quickly by Suarez, who was crowded out. He felt unfairly. He would feel that. Oh, not. Wettingham. The thing with Liverpool now, they're a real threat down the right. It was mainly down the left in the first half. It's still down the left as well, second, but also the right side is much stronger now. We're down in alongside Johnson. The ball's been played out by Charlie Adam because uh, Aaron Goodison's got a problem. Lock on the ear, is he? Malky Mackay would have shrugged that sort of thing off in his playing days. Rough and tough centre back. Best days came with Norwich. And six years at Carrow Road. Well, that was uh, Gerrard smashing into Gunnison. Yeah. Oh, Goodison was blocking him. Goodison was blocking him, there's no doubt about that. Even so. And Gerard did raise the arm. Self-defence? I think he's a bit lucky. No real Cardiff complaints, apart from for Aaron Gunnison. Look at that, it, it is a deliberate block from Gunnison, but... It's definitely a but. More of a smash than a butt. Referee's blowing a bit. Yeah. Marky Mackay must now be contemplating a change. He's enjoyed the big occasions. He won promotion to the top flight three seasons in a row with Norwich, Watford, and West Ham. A couple of playoff final successes in there. He's had a word with Aaron Gunnison and sent him back out into the battle. Not to take the right ear to have a word with. It's the one that's half as big as the other one now. Bellamy to Gerard. Looking for Johnson, can't quite keep it in. Best efforts and all that. First time we've had a little bit of a lull in the action. Yeah, just after that injury, isn't it? That's Gestead. This is Miller. One by Johnson. Here's Adam. Gerard. Gets it back from Adam. Suarez just caught the match laid off wide to Downing. Now Johnson. Liverpool fans get to their feet, expecting something special from the cross. They've got a corner. We have got the official attendance figure through at Wembley today. 89,041 spectators have enjoyed this so far. Here comes the corner from Charlie Adam. And Skirtle again! What a good save from Heaton. Instinctive stuff, it came at him in a flash. Yeah. And Craig Bellingham might have been the one that didn't keep it in. Stop it from going out, which enabled Skirtle to get the shot in. Martin Skirtle, goal-scoring predator. Tom Heaton's made a couple of important saves, albeit from efforts that have come straight at him. Bellamy. Here's Johnson. Downing. 
He can hit it with the left from here. Decided not to. Johnson. Given time to get it under control. Time to find Bellamy. And that's Carroll's header, and it's well over the top. Yeah, just doesn't seem to get on top of them, does he? Most who've journeyed from South Wales still enjoying their afternoon at Wembley, their fourth trip it will be for quite a few of them. And still in good voice, as are those in red. Their afternoon's got a whole lot better in the last 20 minutes or so. Interesting statistics, Liverpool with 21 attempts on goal, card is four. Can't get a fifth here. Tackle by Aga that time. Just peaching out as an attacking force, Cardiff, aren't they? Johnson. Adam. That's Johnson. Downing. Jose Enrique. Here's Bellamy, pulled back for Carroll, but McNaughton's in the way. Should be down injured, has he got cramped, is it? Would it be Hudson? It's Hudson. Cramped, I think, has got high. Well, he has just missed over a month of football with a calf injury. And Jose Enrique puts it out. Right thing to do, there is a... Well, there are some jeers from Liverpool supporters, but I think that's right. They'd want it the other way, wouldn't they? It's the way that I think, thankfully, the game is played 90% of the time. Last minute, that had been a decision to make. True. I wonder if Mark Hudson can go the distance. He's missed six games. And he's performed really solidly. He's done really well. Part of the thing with, with, with Cup final as well is, is the added tension, isn't it? In terms of cramp. Malky Mackay is desperately trying to get a message through to Kenny Miller. And here is the Liverpool equalising goal. Suarez thought he'd got it. Just reacted really quickly, didn't he, Skirtle? Carroll played a part too, used his muscle. Skirtle didn't even think about celebrating, barging Charlie Adam out of his way. Suarez. That's Turner for company. Gerard. There's Downing. Downing's got it through the crowd. Can't get it past Heaton. Flags up against Suarez as what he came in to try and pick up the rebound. Danning's thought about this once or twice, this time he had Decent a go. Strike. Save. I guess he was active as he chased it. Well, you've got to pull your active, aren't you? Arguably. There, there have been days. And there always seems to be at least one goalkeeper in sparkling form in the Carling Cup final. Tom Heaton shining this year. There's Skirtle. Up goes Turner. There's Hudson, who hobbles away after getting to the ball. Cowie took a stead. Here's Whittingham. Goodness, room on the right for McNaughton. Yeah, better from Cardiff, keep the ball. Gestead's got his arm up in the middle. He's gone for the spectacular and couldn't get his body in the right position. Kenny Miller is quick to get to the ball, and he's just dragged back. Was Stuart he dragged Downing. back, Guy, did he slip, or was it a bit of both? Well, that's how Mark Clattenburg's seen it anyway. Let's see. 
Well, there's a brush of hands. Mm. Shall we dance? Bit of both, you're right. But a Cardiff free kick. Don Cowie, Peter Whittingham. Cowie set his sights, look at that. Might give me the wrong side for the left footed Whittingham, but he might find a way through. He does strike a mean dead ball. Ten goals this season, two goals in his last three games. A couple of seasons ago, he got 25 goals for Cardiff City. And it is Whittingham. And as usual, you give it the big one. Yeah, and nothing comes of it. I think they've all jumped together in, obviously, in unison. Did play in a much more advanced midfield role, often wide for Cardiff, that goal-filled season that he enjoyed. Now a Gunnison long throw. Wimbledon 1988 all over again. It's Gunnison. And it's flicked across, it was a great run by Gestet. Was that an elbow? Well, Aga went down straight away. How does Mark Clattenburg interpret this? Accidental from Turner? Must be, must have been. That's a fab off, isn't it? Yeah, he's just feeling for him, but... The noise that went up from the Liverpool fans straight away and the way that Aga went down suggested something a little more dramatic. An uppercut. This one eats him. Downing. Ghosting through a gap. Now Suarez. The gap disappeared quickly for him. Had to go wide, Suarez. Liverpool corner. They're racking up. Thought Suarez when it initially came to in the box. I thought he was just have a touch and hit. That's a dozen Liverpool corners. Adam deep this time. Bellum is kept away by Miller. Gerard. Jose Enrique. Doesn't want to try that right foot shot again. Gerard does. Straight against the head of McNaughton. Now it's Johnson. Johnson's effort is wide. Yeah. I thought he did brilliantly because he just he sold a dummy to two Cardiff players and I thought he was just going to slot it into someone on the edge of the box. Obviously not. Just over eight minutes of the 90 to go. We had late, late drama in the Carling Cup final a year ago. And the Blues won it. Birmingham beat Arsenal. For the Blue Birds, Anthony Gerrard is going through his warm ups. Could soon be joining cousin Stephen on the field. Mark Hudson, you won't be surprised to learn, is the player who's just struggling. Put down with cramp, just back from injury. There's Miller. Now Gunnison. Taylor. Skirtle climbs above Whittingham. And it's going to be another R and Gunnison long throw for Liverpool to defend now. No, it's not. Taken quickly to catch everybody out. Don Cowie doing well with Gunnison. Cowie's cross. And it's just wide, and it was a great chance. That's a really clever bit of football as well from, from Cardiff because they've lulled Liverpool into thinking it was the long throw. Look at Ben Turner around the back. Just didn't make great contact with it, did he? In the end, I think it came off to Enrique. Should have been a corner. Oh. Ben Turner thinks it should have been a goal. A goal at Wembley in a cup final for him, but not yet. It's got the Cardiff fans up on their feet and singing again, though. Gerard. Energy levels come into play now. Hugely. Downing. Suarez. Can't get through. Miller. Pokes it through the legs of Johnson. I think his energy levels are just dipping a bit though, Kenny Miller. Didn't want to run that any further. And back into this, Cardiff. 
Cardiff four times have been taken to extra time in the Carling Cup this season. Twice they've gone all the way to penalties. Taylor. Skirtle. It's come for Miller. Miller looking for Gestead. And uh, Joe Mason's pointed out that he might have been a better bet moving to the left. Liverpool are away down their left. Malky Mackay's waving everybody back. It's Bellamy out to Suarez. Keeps on finding space for himself. Now Adam cuts across it. Well held, Heaton. Yeah. Really nice height for the keeper as well, isn't it? Struggle to get back there, Cardiff. And the manager was frantically waving them that way, back into defence. Another one that's straight at him. Gerard. Here's Jose Enrique. Bellamy to Gerard. Gerard's got it out to Stuart Downing. Taylor's struggling to get across to him. I think he's got a bit of cramp as well. Has to back away to his own box. Glenn Johnson. What a vital touch that is from Turner. Stopped it reaching Suarez, who was just about to nod in. Just threw himself in the way. Ben Turner's taken over from Mark Hudson as the man who gets in the way of everything for Cardiff. <laughs> Liverpool forced to make a change due to an injury. Daniel Agger is going off. Straight swap. On comes Carra, Jamie Carragher. One time Mucker Gerrard with the corner. As far as he's headed it straight up. Straight behind for a goal kick. Jamie Carragher was shouting and organising the minute he set foot on the pitch. Liverpool's lieutenant. I think they want another half hour. If they're not going to get a winner now, that is. We all do, don't we? I think we all do, exactly. Understand ribs are the problem for Daniel Agger. He's had a back problem of late as well. Legs are all right. Cardiff oh, free kick. Yeah, better if you don't let read at home. And apologies for those who are pretty good at it. Cardiff free kick, and they've taken it quickly because Cowie was waiting for it, Liverpool weren't ready for it, it's Miller! Will Cardiff get a better chance to win it than that? Oh, and of all people... Liverpool are arguing amongst themselves. And they think Charlie Adam actually left him. It's exactly the player they wanted it to come to. What Great run by Miller. Went for power. Here's Johnson. Down it. Bellamy. Jose Enrique. Bellamy loses out to McNaughton. McNaughton's on his bike down the right hand side. Miller will look for him now. Well, you'd have backed him to score, wouldn't you? Absolutely, totally back into score from here. What a chance. Similar sort of position from which young Joe Mason did score in the first half. He poked it through. Miller went to take the absolute cover off the ball. Now Suarez. Turner there once more. I was going to say who's been better, Turner or Hudson. I think it's impossible, isn't it? 50 50 split. to enter the 90th minute. Downing. Gerard. It's come out to Adam. First time to Jose Enrique.
Gerard. Goes for goal. Blocked by guess who? Turner. And then Jose Enrique and Bellamy got in the way. Great, great Plattenberg got in the way of the yeah. ball and there's a foul. Carragher on Gestet. Carragher giving a piggyback ride to Don Cowie to hold onto the ball and eat up a bit of time and make sure Cardiff can't break before Liverpool have their shape again. Keystone cops this. Yeah. Good touch though. It's fair to the ref. Another important block as well, wasn't it? Because the ball was going through to Suarez initially. Look at that. <laughs> You've got to laugh. Taylor. <laughs> Gestead across, but only to Pepe Reina. And we're into injury time. There will be at least four more minutes for one of these teams to find a winner. Is it going to be Suarez? It's had to be taken wide. Touch wasn't the best, and then he went for the really special way to finish it by trying to chip it into the top corner. Yeah, and, and Bellamy actually made a really good, although quite late, run where he could have just squared the ball into him. Went in each other's way here, didn't he? A rare breakdown in communication amongst the Cardiff defenders. I see Bellamy just coming the picture there late. Never saw him as far as unusual for him. On by Gestead. Now he can't get past Johnson. They've already played a minute of added on time. Stewart Downing. It is. Next goal wins time. Downing wins a corner. How many times have we said that in this game? Is Craig Bellamy going to be the man? to finally kill off the hopes of his team, Cardiff City. The team he supports, the team he played for last season. Glenn Johnson, maybe, to tee up Gerrard, who's been the late man for Liverpool so often, but not yet. Just led back, the it? Too tight on it. Wonder how big a chance that Kenny Miller chance will turn out to be. And that was the moment for Cardiff to win it. Malky Mackay well used to giving talks to his team to go another half hour. He said his last words as the team went out onto the field at the start were always going to be play the game, not the occasion. Well, they have played a game, Cardiff City. Yeah, extremely well. And they've risen to the occasion. Sixth in the Championship against seventh in the Premier League. Yes, the Premier League team have had more of the ball and had more efforts on goal, but... Cardiff have given everything to this final as well. The final that looks as though it's going to go another half hour at least. Suarez. Turner trying desperately to get there yet again. Block Suarez, goal kick. <laughs> That's better. I like that reaction. Yeah, but you can sort of smile and look incredulous at the same time, can't you? Was it right? That's the next question. You're not going to answer it, are you? <laughs> Let's say yes then. Yeah, right. Oh, oh no. Instead, just kept it in. Taylor. Miller on the way down as the ball cleared his head. Is Rayner going to launch this? No, Liverpool are still going to play it forward their way. 20 seconds. Bellamy. Gerard. Downing. For once, his touch let him down. And now we look at Mark Clattenburg with both sets of supporters in full voice. 
They're going to have to carry on singing. They've got to summon up energy levels as well. As soon as it comes in play, look at the blow. Yeah, there you go. That's it. Full time in the 2012 Carling Cup final, which is going the full distance. Joe Mason first half for Cardiff. Martin Skirtle with the early second half equaliser for Liverpool, but neither team able to find a winner yet. Another 30 minutes of extra time to come. Time for Messrs Mackay and Dalgleish to weave their words of magic. Hope you enjoy the extra time. We will. Full time. Cardiff City won. Liverpool won. The Thanks, Gary. Well, yeah, the bad news, Alan, is that somebody's going to lose at the end of all this, either in the next half hour or on penalties. You may just have seen the graphic come up to tell you about the Cardiff change for extra time. It's one for the headline writers, really. Joe Mason has gone off, and on has come Philip Kiss. Can he seal it? 
for the Bluebirds. Slovakia's under-21 captain. On a season loan from Sloven Bratislava. And the big glue to this there, as in so many countries around the world. Great advert for English football, a packed Wembley, great noise. Cracking game of football. And the team from the second tier holding their own and matching a team from the very top levels of the game. Great advert for the Football League in general. Yeah, very good. Here's Craig Bellamy, who starred for Cardiff last season. Suarez. Oh, Heaton's got to it. I think he had to. Just looked like it was going to creep in, didn't it? Thought when he hit it at first, it was going wide, but Heaton couldn't take that chance. It was. It was, and he couldn't. Craig Bellamy's just acknowledged the Cardiff fans giving him a cheer down there with a wave, which they enjoyed. Good. It wasn't the Adele acknowledgement, was it? No, it was a good one. Proper one. In comes the corner. Heading goal was blocked on the line by Taylor. Didn't leave his post. Suarez again, he thought he'd scored. Keeps thinking he scored. Gerard. Well, extra time's got off to a cracking start. Moore, brilliant Cardiff City defending, all in the right places. Oh, and Downing, Suarez darting about the penalty area, and Downing claims there was a touch, there was, it's a corner. Yeah, I mean, with, with the width as well, this is the uh, this is Suarez chance, that's why you have people on the post. That's simple. They just make it with their width Liverpool, it really is, and they're stretching the game all the time now. Interesting, there's only one man on the post this time. Just Taylor, near post. And as Bellamy looks to get it over. Variation on the theme. Jose Enrique, Steven Gerrard. He's just been off target like that most of the day. Yeah, hit across his knee. Just make uh, Cardiff think a little bit, certainly defensively. Malcolm Mackay looks as though he's played the full 90 himself, calling for big breaths, extra effort from his players. Fifth time they've gone to extra time in this competition this season. They've beaten Huddersfield, Leicester, Oxford way back when in the first round. Remember Cardiff started from scratch. Crystal Palace in the semi-final second leg. Here's Gunnarsson. McNaughton. Miller. Taylor. Instead coming in, Skirtle went with it. There's McNaughton. Hudson is still on the field despite that bout of cramp some time ago now. Yeah, the thing with that, guy, he has a, he's had some treatments and some liquid down and should be okay. Refueled. How well has Kevin McNaughton come back into the game? First 20 minutes, Stuart Downing looked to be giving him the run around. He was delighted when Henderson was taken off when he down and was moved to the other side. Free kick given away here though by the Silver Fox. Gerard sights a set on finding just the right red shirted player in the penalty area. Went for Suarez, flags up. Just. But he was standing there the whole time. He's still off.
He slips, but hasn't affected the distance he's got on his kick. Skirtle. Jose Enrique ran into the challenge of Kiss. Carragher left it, got the shout from Johnson to do so. Jose Enrique somehow has managed to keep that in and got Liverpool to throw it. Downing. Gerard. Downing. Bellamy left. Downing's turned the other way and it was the wrong option. McNaughton. Plenty of time on the ball to gently nudge it against Jose Enrique and get Cardiff City to throw. Dirk Kout looks as though he's getting ready to make an appearance. He'll be desperate to win this. And he's gone the longest run without a winner's medal for a Liverpool regular first-team player since Emily Hughes. Six seasons, nothing to show for it. Emily Hughes went 1967 to 1973 and then... Pretty much couldn't stop winning after that. <laughs> Whittingham's free kick. Rain has come for it. That's why. Oh, good shout as well, wasn't it? Bellamy. Jose Enrique. Got the crossover, but only into Heaton's gloves. Those orange marigolds have done well. Certainly have. Just for the future. Skirt. Kiss. Ignores the clip of Carroll. Little shimmy to get past Gerard. Kiss with the shot. Came along there, actually, didn't he? Only two, three challenges. We've got the one goal for Cardiff. It came at Derby at the beginning of November. And what's happened now? Benham has been caught, isn't it? And it's a yellow card for Philip Kiss. Yeah, grabbed hold of his shirt. <laughs> Told him his future. And truly collared. I don't think Craig Bellamy was after a kiss either. Uh, Hudson's still struggling. I think the time has come. Yeah, he replaced. Here it comes. Mark Hudson, bar a couple of little blips, has been outstanding on his return to first team action to lead the team. He's passing the armband on to Peter Whittingham. And coming on in his place will be Anthony Gerrard. An outstanding performance this has been by him. When you consider how long since he played, Guy, and I think he got cramped some 15 or 20 minutes before the end of normal time. Well, here we go, Steve's cousin. Of course, they were heavily featured in the build-up to the game, both of them remembering playing football in their nan's back garden together. Used to both pretend to be Risto Stoichkov after the World Cup of 94. Apparently the family has around 100 tickets spread between them around the ground. Most of them in the red corner. There's only one Gerard. is the uh, nice refrain from the Cardiff fans. Great. Began as an Everton junior, but he was very much a Liverpool fan growing up. Skirtle. Jose Enrique. Bellamy. Gerard S. And Stuart Downing. Downing winding up to hit one. Hit one he did. 
just not particularly accurately. Yeah, it's a waste, isn't it? That aside, Mark, is this one of his better games for yes, Liverpool so yes, far? Yes, most definitely. He's not even under any great pressure there, is he? No, he's, didn't, uh, he's played very well today. And who will want a winner's medal? Got a runners-up version with Aston Villa a couple of years ago. Was a winner in 2004 with Middlesbrough, but he says he doesn't count that because he didn't get onto the field. Unused substitute. Gerrard involved straight away. Anthony Gerrard, that is. Here comes Steven Gerrard. Seen off, though, by Taylor. Downing. Adam. There's Johnson. And it comes from Downing. Here is statistical confirmation of the yellow card that Philip Kiss received after an altercation with Craig Bellamy. Well, it never quite developed into a full-blown altercation. It goes to Stead. There's Skirtle. Cardiff noise at the moment. The game is slowing down. It's perhaps not surprising. No, it's very much slowed down. Just really gave it a big build-up. <laughs> Blame me for everything. Gerard. There's Downing. Gerard driving on past him. The pullback is blocked by Taylor. Liverpool corner. Yet another corner. They were about to put Dirk Cout on. I should think they'll delay that until this corner has been taken. Exactly packing the box out Liverpool here. Everybody waiting outside. Downing in. Carroll will attack it. Carroll goalwards. Didn't miss it by much. I think that might have been his best header of the game. Right, probably one of the more difficult ones as well. I think it might be his last touch as well. Yeah, possibly. He's going to cross people, didn't he? So look at that. And having come the closest he's come to scoring all match, that's it for Andy Carroll. Can't be the Wembley hero for Liverpool today, then. Maybe Dirk Kout can. So often Liverpool's unsung hero with the effort that he puts in, either through the middle or down the right. He would think it only fitting if he gets his first winner's medal with the club through a goal scored by himself. He'll work, Dirk Kemp, that's for sure. It's a guaranteed. McNaughton. The stud's still trying to work for Cardiff. Johnson. He's unlucky there. He's unlucky there, appeal for an offside Cardiff. I think he beat the offside trap. Suarez, of course, a little bit too much loft, unfortunately, for him. Gunnison. Instead, trying to touch it back to Philip Kiss, but he was too close to him. Bellamy. Running at McNaughton. He's got it through to Count. Bellamy's onto the return. No way through yet. Bellamy finds a way, though. And the ball went over the crossbar in the blink of an eye. Yeah, very, very difficult. I mean, it's a great little bit of play as well here when, when he runs across your Bellamy. Comes back to him now. You know, you know where he's going. It's just really difficult to get close enough to him. Patient as well, isn't it? Waited for just the right chance when the gap finally appeared. Adam no 
Jose Enrique. Bellamy. Enrique. Good tackle. Kiss wins it, finds Whittingham. Kiss has done really well to keep that there. Whittingham. Miller. Scorpion's clearance, then it's Adam. Yes, there was a bump on Kenny Miller, but Adam's perfectly entitled to jump for that and head it. Downing. Bellamy head to the box, Adam just outside it. Glenn Johnson. Johnson's shot is wide. So many wide from Liverpool have gone only just wide. Yeah. And play as well, isn't it, again? Just roll it in nice and in it goes. Well, we're nearly finishing the game as we started it, with Glenn Johnson firing in towards that Cardiff goal. And the first period of extra time is almost up. I you think once Tom Heaton has kicked this, it will be. Neither side has managed to score in the first 15 minutes. Another 15 minutes to decide the 2012 Carling Cup final, or it's going to be decided on penalties. Malky Mackay out to read the script to his team. I was going to ask you, Mark, where you see this one going, but it, it is impossible to call now. Oh, the penalties. Well, there you go, you've called it. Kenny Dalglish just having words with fourth official Anthony Taylor. I should say there's a message being read out in the Wembley PA, which is uh, good news for all Liverpool fans. So you might have seen on the news, had a nightmare journey down to Wembley today with all sorts of problems down the West Coast Main Line. Trains are apparently now back up and running from Euston back up to Liverpool Lime Street. Yeah. So they can get home OK. You Will they be, be going home in celebratory mood? You won't be able to get on them, but they're running. <laughs> they'll be getting later ones. Sunday as well, they don't run that late, do they? Muscles being stretched. Seems relaxed in the Liverpool camp. I think they're just stressed, just keep playing, just keep playing, but keep missing the target, don't they? Cue the Liverpool anthem. They were happy with that train news. Fifteen minutes. Fifteen more huge minutes for Cardiff City and Liverpool. Or we are going to a penalty shootout. There's nearly always an outstanding chance, isn't there? This particular part of the game. Well, the last truly outstanding chance fell in normal time to Kenny Miller. Didn't take it. Wondered at the time whether he'd get another one. On my totting up, Cardiff do have one more change left available to them. Liverpool have played all three cards from the bench. Here's Downing. Gets it back from Johnson. Couch well placed. Count to Downing. Half blocked and played out. Is that a sign of how Cardiff are going to play for the next 15? Get it out, get it away. There's going to be a change. Here is the third and final change. And well, I can only assume Kevin McNaughton's picked up an injury here because he's making way for Darcy Blake. Yeah. Moving quite gingerly, isn't he? Nice for Darcy Blake to get on, a Welshman proud and true. Grew up with and is close friends with Nathan Cleverly, Wales boxing hero last night. The alternative triple crown still on for Wales. With respect to Swansea City supporters, he didn't have a great day at Stoke today. Carrigan. Bellamy. Carrigan. Gerard. Now Cout has given Taylor the slip. Cout's ball in. Suarez can't get it in front of him. 
not away yet. Gerard is charged down. And guided safely back to Heaton by Darcy Blake. Great first touch. He was he was backpedaling as a problem, wasn't it? He's on. I think Darcy Blake actually plays Cow on. That's the first thing. And yeah, he's just sort of going backwards and struggling to get his feet. Bellamy, Gerard, back to Charlie Adam. There's Johnson. Count. Nice change of pace. Comes back to Dirk Count! As the Dutchman won the Carling Cup for Liverpool. The man who's waited so long for his winner's medal may just have grabbed one for himself. Thing is, you're watching Guy, fresh legs. Look, look at look at the Cardiff players all around him, struggles to get anywhere near him. And then so he, he reacts so, so quickly from the attempted clearance, he's aware that they're struggling, no one can get near him, back it comes straight to him, bang. I think Heaton, Heaton has no chance to react to that whatsoever, he just hit it so quickly in his stride, Cal. Heaton beaten by the pace and the reaction speed of Dirk Cow. great shot, will it be the winner? Not a bad substitution either, was it? Andy Carroll must be shaking those long locks. Tried hard with no reward. On comes Cout to grab the glory. Let's see what Cardiff have got left now. Yeah, they just got to go for it, haven't they? Got to go for it now. Here's Bellamy. Martin Skirtle. It counts fourth goal of the season, that's all. Been more of a bit part player than he's ever been in his Liverpool career so far in the whole of this campaign. And yet, he may be the man to be bringing silverware back to Anfield. Count this time, he's dealt with successfully by Turner. Cowie just got there, Gerrard's onto it. Suarez, no way through to Bellamy. And John W. Henry was taking snaps like the most enthusiastic of young fans before the match. Now he's uh, trying hard to stay in his seat. Cool customer, Mr. Henry. I always get the feeling his wife's more into it than he is. Well, she the, she's a big tweeter in the family, isn't she? I've not followed her yet, doesn't seem right. Might be missing that ball. And he's all smiles, Andy Carroll. He would be. Maybe about to pick up a winner's medal. Made the move from Tyneside to Merseyside to do just that. Ed Harsh on Newcastle, they might be on their way back to winning things soon. And this is the here and now, and Liverpool are less than ten minutes away from winning the 2012 Carling Cup. Cardiff will keep going, no doubt about that. Difficult for some of the players to keep going. Offside Suarez. Struggling in the middle of the pitch from the Cardiff players. And he's already been down with cramp, isn't he? Going down again by the looks of it. He barely put one foot in front of the other. Gerard. Hooked back by Turner. Defended stoutly, but it is Cardiff City's ball. Yeah, it's skirt, I think. It's got through to Miller. It's a throw in, and Gunnison might be uh, bedeviled by cramp at the moment, but his arms are still okay. He's, he's limping to take this throw. Looks horrible, Grant. 
Here he comes. Still gets the distance. Headed back out to him. He'd rather have it in his hands at this point. Look at that. He can barely move. Whittingham. Oh, Gunnarsson doesn't want it. <laughs> Nottingham ignores him this time, Cowie, oh, Gunnison again. Cowie sensibly takes over. Good strong header from Cow. Blake, charged into by Suarez, Bellamy's after it now. Whittingham. Taylor. Up towards Gestead. Carragher just sided into it. Yeah. Just made sure he didn't head it. Experience. You can almost see the energy draining away from the Cardiff players in front of your eyes. Little nudge again on Gestead, this time from Skirtle. Fans are screaming for a free kick. Kiss. Gerard up and away to Suarez. Downing, Cow, Bellamy left side, Adam looks for him now, he's not that quick. Yeah. Oh, Bellamy look. <laughs> Mr Angry, Mr Winner he would say. Heaton goes long, Cardiff have to do that, Gestead goes for it. Just about beat Skirtle, but it's fallen for Glenn Johnson. Wins some headers, isn't he? He's, hurt, he's down hurt now. Is it the landing? Well, they've used all three substitutes. I think he just wants a bit of TLC, first and foremost. Yeah, he just seems bursting past people who just can't keep up with him, can they? Was that first ever a shot? Yes. Well, the second one was a much better one. And it might turn out, it's looking very likely to turn out to be a famous goal in the history of Liverpool Football Club. Is that the springboard goal? And that's the reaction of Andrew Taylor. And that is the reaction of one delighted Kenny Dalglish MBE. It'll be 61 next Sunday, will Kenny Dalglish? I just wonder. If he hadn't got that call some, what, 14 months ago, just under, to come back to Anfield, I wonder what he'd have been doing. Probably still have been on that cruise ship in Bahrain when he got the shout. As it is, he'll be coming off the back of a home Premier League game against Arsenal next weekend. If you've enjoyed watching Cardiff, you can see them again on the BBC next Sunday when they entertain West Ham, back to Championship business. The thing is, with this game, Guy, it's just been in the balance for so long. Here's Bellamy. Gunnarsson. One last chance, perhaps. Whittingham. So many red shirts in the way now, they can't see through. Gunnarsson. Whittingham. Line of Cardiff shirts on the edge of the box. Kiss will attack it, Skirtle is there. Great header, that is. Great header. There's a possession of, possession of Cardiff players behind him. Heaton. Launched forwards, up towards Gestead again. Didn't get enough of a touch. Johnson, though, has been caused a problem here. It's Turner, who's basically a centre-forward for the rest of this, and he has won a corner. And Johnson was slow to react, let the ball bounce. Look at that. Urging his team on. Could it be? Four minutes of extra time left. Cardiff's first corner of the match. The movement started. Rain has come a long way. Rarely makes wrong decisions in that sort of position. Cardiff throw in. Gunnison time again. He's got to get there first, though. I think he's got rid of the cramp in one of his legs. Aaron Gunnarsson to hurl one into that penalty area. Jose Enrique missed it, Skirtle again gets the better of Gestead, but it's another Cardiff corner. 
like buses. I can't say they're not having a go. Cardiff giving it everything, looking for the leveller. Swung in dangerously, Reyna's flapped and it's off the line! And behind for another corner. Well, we've just picked up the goalkeeper, I think he's made a mistake, hasn't he? Crucial clearance. And it comes again, it's flicked across again! It's in! Cardiff are level! Ben Turner with the goal! What an amazing final we're witnessing. Well, if anybody deserved a goal for his team, and this boy, absolutely brilliant. He gets the benefit of the bounce here, but fantastic. Just reacted like a centre forward. I'm going to score this. And there you go, they didn't have a corner for nearly two hours. Two come in quick succession, and they were two great corners. Yeah. And Liverpool struggled to defend the first one, let alone this. I should think, I don't know, but I would reckon Ben Turner's got a booking for that. He won't care one little bit. Yeah, bothered. There's Downing. Suarez. Is there another twist? It's a Suarez chip, it's Kiss there to clear it. Liverpool's turn to get this one into the box and fast. There's Gerrard, now Adam. Carragher to Johnson. Cout didn't win it after all, tries to again. Gets the corner courtesy of Taylor. It's been left foot in swinger. Pile in there. It's going to be Stuart Downing. So gritty, Cardiff. Absolutely fantastic grit and determination hanging in there. They've got to hang in there one last time. It's Downing's corner. It's headed away and out to Jamie Carragher. Jose Enrique, Luis Suarez, taken off his toes by Gunnison, another Liverpool corner. The 30 minutes of extra time is almost up. There will be one minute to be tagged on. It's Craig Bellamy. Skirtle near post gets the touch. It's come to count again. Gunnison clears. That will have hurt. Carragher. Jose Enrique comes off kiss. Cowie. Enrique. Now it's Adam. Johnson. Johnson's cross is blocked by Gunnison. Now it's away. Mark Clattenburg's had a look at both of the watches on his wrists. Adam. Philip Kiss will get onto the ball. He'll run with it as fast as he can. Could Cardiff break, maybe? No time. We've gone all the way to penalties, and all the cheers are coming from the Cardiff City supporters. They were beaten. They were finished in this Carling Cup final. But they had the passion, they had the resolve to come at Liverpool again and draw themselves level. Quite incredible. It's going to be settled by kicks from 12 yards. It's been a superb final, and there's more to come. The full-time score is Cardiff City 2, Liverpool 2.
Well, Gary, this is the news today. Cardiff City against Liverpool in the Carling Cup final. Penalties. Cardiff have already won twice this way in their run to Wembley. Liverpool have only ever lost two of 12 penalty shootouts in the club's proud history, including the last one against Northampton in the second round of this cup last season. This is a whole different kettle of fish. First up, the captain, Steven Gerrard, and it's saved by Tom Heaton! What a save! Brilliant save. Absolutely brilliant. What a day he's had. Who'd have thought it? Onto the crossbar. The goalkeeper who saved the first two Crystal Palace penalties in the semi-final shootout. What happened then? Well, Kenny Miller went first for Cardiff, and he missed. It's a funny guy, quite often the team that goes first and misses ends up winning. We shall see. Kenny Miller's turn. Malky Mackay just about manages to get his head up. And Miller's missed as well! The drama's never ending. I have to say, this is the best known cure to constipation for man. It's unbelievable if you take it one of those. Well, how's Charlie Adam feeling? Stomach rumbling, ready for it. Here he comes. Oh, dear me! Dear, oh, dear! That's just a poor penalty. Absolutely poor penalty. That has missed by a distance. The two first up for Liverpool who you would have banked on. Gerard and Adam, the club's penalty takers. Both miss. And I guess, at the moment anyway, it's advantage Cardiff again. Don Cowie. That's in. One scored. Cardiff one up. I mean, this is an excellent penalty when you consider the pressure that he's under. And up comes Dirk Carrot, the man who's won it once for Liverpool today. Missed the penalty in the Merseyside derby earlier this season. Here comes Count. No mistake. One one, but Cardiff have one in hand. Is next, it's Rudy Gasted, a 23 year old Frenchman who was struggling to move in the latter stages of extra time. What is left in those legs? Gasted hits the post, and we really are all level again. 1 1 after three. Well, he just looked tired running up to address the ball, didn't he? It's a lack of energy. He scored his penalty in the semi-final, but it would have been a whole lot fresher then. Stuart Downing's had a good game for Liverpool. Carries on that way too. That was nice. Yeah, class. Picked his spot. Now the pendulum has just swung the red way. Peter Whittingham. He would be one you would think you could put your shirt on for Cardiff City. It'll be left foot. How are the nerves? He's beaten them, and Reyna. Excellent, isn't it? As good as Downing's. 2-2 Two -two after four penalties each, and now we really are at sudden death. And it's Glenn Johnson for Liverpool. Pressure's just ratcheted it up, isn't it, now? Johnson. Into the roof! Liverpool fans nearly lift the roof off Wembley. 
Cardiff have to score. Anthony Gerrard has to score. Rain is trying to make him wait, isn't he? And Gerrard's put it wide! You always knew that Gerrard would play a big part today. It's the wrong part for Cardiff City, and it's sheer joy for Liverpool, who are bringing a trophy back to that Anfield cabinet at long last again. Well, there can't be a worse way to lose a game than this. I mean, Cardiff been absolutely fantastic today. To a man, we should all be extremely proud of each other, and it's oh, it's always just it's like Russian roulette, isn't it? Penalty, isn't it? Liverpool have won it, but Cardiff shouldn't beat themselves up over this because they've been outstanding. And there always has to be a fall guy. Sadly for Cardiff City, it was Anthony Gerrard. Cousin Stephen missed his as well for Liverpool. It seems as though the nerves and the tired legs got to quite a few of the players out there. Well, there'd be more missed than scored, wasn't there? There were. That's the last one missed. Rayner went the right way, didn't need to get there. Pulled wide of the post. And it had Kenny Dalglish running like a young'un. Despair for Anthony Gerrard. Let's get down to the pitch there from the winning Gerrard. Stephen, he's been asked, Steve Wilson. Thank you, Steve. Thank you to Stephen Gerrard as well. Some nice words for cousin Anthony. He knows how that feels. But well, he'll be going, going up to lift the cup. Yeah, well, the thing is for Anthony Gerrard, you know, at least he's had the guts to go and take the penalty because there's lots who wouldn't have done. There were quite a few who could barely summon up the energy to move. There's just as much noise now coming from the Cardiff fans as the Liverpool fans. Maybe just the red shading it now, because it's you'll never walk alone around Wembley. And they will feel, and he will feel, that it's been too long since that was heard. Greg Bellamy did hit bit after coming on. A nice consoling pat from Pepe Reina, but it won't make Anthony Gerrard feel any better. Let's have another word with one of the victorious players. We're going to get a word with the man who thought he'd won it, Dirk Count.
Nice words from Dirk Kant. Finally getting his hands on a, on a winner's medal. Six years nearly after his move from Feyenoord to play his football at Anfield. Well, you called it, Mark. You said first one misses in the penalty shootout. For some reason, it just it, it often happens, Guy. The despair of Anthony Gerrard, clear to see, but that's the other side of the coin. Kenny Dalglish with a smile as wide as the Mersey. Up goes the vanquished team. You can see how much they put into the game. They can barely get up those steps. Guy, I mean, at the, at the end of the, at the extra time, there must have been three or four who just couldn't run with the cramp. So it's been a remarkable performance from them. And it'll be interesting to watch them live on the BBC next weekend when they play West Ham United in the Championship because it's back to that business for them now, trying to secure at least a playoff spot. Goodness me, they'll have to take a breather in training this week before they get ready for that one. Every single Liverpool player beaming from ear to ear, apart from perhaps Craig Bellamy, who will have mixed feelings. This is his team. And he's just helped beat them in the cruelest possible way. Cardiff City supporters, the vast majority, have stayed inside Wembley, though. Some have headed for the Welsh Hills, but plenty here to cheer on their team. It's a lovely warm embrace for Captain Mark Hudson. From the chairman, TG. Cardiff City owned by wealthy Malaysian businessmen and it's really good to see them smiling and full of hopes for every single one of their players. Dato Chan Chenji. He's the chairman. Vincent Tan, the major investor. And I should think that's only encouraged them to put a little bit more in, having seen that today. We'd hope so, wouldn't you? Here come the victors. Steven Gerrard leads the team up the steps. There's absolutely no better feeling. And it's nice to see such a big team really make a big play of this cup competition right from the very start. The team that Kenny Dalglish fielded at Exeter in the early rounds was a strong team. He's carried on like that all the way through it. And this is the reward at the end of it all. Liverpool is a club that wins trophies more than most others and it's been too long without one. Steven Gerrard was saying this week, what am I finishing fourth in the Premier League? I want to win stuff. I want winners medals. And he's about to get one today. Might have missed his penalty. Three of his teammates didn't. Dirk Count. Stuart Downing, who was officially named the Carling Man of the Match, he'll be picking up the Alan Hardacre Trophy shortly. And Glenn Johnson with the fifth. Cardiff have made way, they're on their way down the steps. And out into the air again comes Steven Gerrard to be greeted by a huge Liverpudlian cheer. Nineteenth major cup final at Wembley. The cup has the red and white ribbons on it. Ready for Steven Gerrard to hold aloft. Liverpool have silverware again. Liverpool are the winners of the 2012 Carling Cup.